Kuga Lun, the Gemara Gitan Daf Lamad Chesam at Beis. We started this morning this Gemara, but we're going to learn the second part that we didn't learn. So the Gemara says like this that there's three things causing people um, to, to lose their wealth, and the third one, that's what we're going to focus about. The Gemara says, the Kaveh Su the Sayu, the Shabbato, the Eden, the Midrasha. They make the, the suda of so the Shabbos, when there is a drasha, there's a shear. Instead of going to the drasha, there's a shear. They're sitting and eating, and that caused them to lose the, the, their wealth. The Amar Rav Chia Bar Abba, Amar Rav Yochanan, Shtei Mishpochas Oyu Yerushalayim. There were two families in Yerushalayim, Achas Kova Sudoso B'Shabato. One of them, did, they, 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 they were eating on Shabbos. The Achas Kova Sudoso B'Erev Shabbos. The Shtei Mne'ekruv, both of those families were uprooted. Oh. What, what did they do wrong? So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over them now. One of them ate the suda on Shabbos. We heard what's wrong with that, right? Right. They, they ate the suda on Shabbos. We're gonna see. Rashi gonna explain. One of them says, ate the suda erev Shabbos, and, and both of them were uprooted. Now, the, the suda on Shabbos, Rashi explained that they were eating b'shasa drosha. And I, this morning I said what we have today in the modern days that was what called um, Kiddush Club. They're going middle. This is, according to this Gemara, it's horrible. It uh, pushes away the wealth. It brings about poverty. That's, uh, the, the, the Gemara says, for that day, they, they lose their, their, their assets. Wait a minute, so say it again. Spanish. They ate, there is, they a, ate there the there is a drasha. The, 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 Shabbos, the Shabbos drasha the rabbi give. Some oh, people, we're not talking about Friday. Uh, hold before we're gonna, this night, before no, no, we're right now talking about two things. One of them is on Shabbos. On Shabbos. On Shabbos. The, the drosha, instead of listening to Russia, they went to eat. And like I said, in the modern day, yeah. they, what they call okay. Kiddush Club, this is a very bad thing for many reasons. One of them is because <laughs> that would cause for them to, to lose their wealth. Okay. Then, what about Erev Shabbos? Erev Shabbos, Rashi has two pirushim. One is says Lail Shabbos, meaning after the shul, they came home, they made the suda Shabbos. What's yeah. wrong with that? Yeah. Rashi said they made a big suda Friday night. And the reason for it, they, there was Lashem Shemaim, because they, they want to make the bigger suda Friday night and a smaller suda tomorrow, Shabbos daytime. So why? Why smaller suda? They said they could eat quickly and go back to the drosha. What? They could eat the, the suda quickly, oh. not a big suda. And go back to the drosha, not to lose the drosha of Shabbos. Whether, whether to go eat after the drosha, be a quick meal, whether before the drosha. So they made the bigger meal on Friday night. So what was what's wrong with that? Because the Gemara says in Psochim that Kvoid Shabbos, Yom Shabbos is bigger than Lel Shabbos. The honor of Suda Shabbos during the day you have to be greater. So if you have one food, you could eat it Friday night or Shabbos day, leave it for Shabbos day. If you could do a bigger meal, Friday night or Shabbos day, do it Shabbos day because they reverse the order. So it's again, and they did it Lashem Shemaim in order to be able to go to the Drasha. Umamash was Lashem Shemaim. Still, since they, they, they compromised the honor of Shabbos daytime, they made the, the night greater than the day. It should be reversed. The day, the honor of daytime should be greater. For that, according to the Pirush of Rashi, that's one Pirush, they lost their wealth. What happens if you have a Kiddush? Shabbos, uh, after Dalim, Shabbos morning. You have a Kiddush, a nice big Kiddush, we're and mm -hmm. not hungry anymore. You, you have a Kiddush when you come home, and you have a small fish, let's say. Mm -hmm. You don't make a big meal because you can't eat somewhere. Okay, so, so maybe, maybe your main meal was the Kiddush, that's true, okay. All right, anyway, now the second Pirush Rashi brings, the second Pirush, yeah, Erev Shabbos, Erev Shabbos Mamash, not Lel Shabbos, not the Suda that you eat, yeah. the Friday night meal, before Friday, Friday during the day. Some people used to make meal. Rashi explained, Yom, every day, those people, Mirov Oisher, where rich people made every day a big meal during the day. But it says, but the problem, Erev Shabbos, when you make a big meal, even though you do it every day, you cannot eat now your Shabbos Friday night meal with a good appetite. You're not so hungry. You just made a big meal during the daytime. 
Huh? Get a big lunch on Friday. That's, uh, yeah, big, that's, big, that's, big, that's, that's Benish Moshe's, right? No, no, you don't have to eat. You don't have to eat. 3 o'clock even. Somebody had a big lunch at 2 o'clock. Yeah, uh, yeah. It doesn't have to be that uh, you uh, mamash ate before Shabbos. Uh, Meaning, out of Shabbos, uh, you, you made a big meal lunch, like he said. Uh, and and according... Oh, so that's that's a, a rather halacha discussed what you do on days like Yom Tev or Purim. Over there, because we have a mitzvah now, so we're not going to worry about the mitzvah later. So we're not going to go into it right now. So Memela, according to this, because they ate the, the Friday daytime, a big meal, and which is, you have to eat Friday, but not a big meal. Maybe can't to, 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 to wait come. so long. Maybe it's very long. Oh, right? so there was a mice with the with the Noida Bayuda. He went, one time, Erev Shabbos, he went to the house of a Gevir, uh, and he sees he's sitting with his family having a big meal, Erev Shabbos, not Friday night, Erev Shabbos, like lunch. Right. Lunch? It, to, no lunch. It, it, it told them. Uh, Let's whatever. say five o'clock. In the okay, whatever. The time that you uh, normally you're not gonna get big appetite to eat Friday night. Whatever is the timings, it oh, works like mind. this. So he told them, how could you do this? The halacha says you cannot eat a big meal out of Shabbos. You should come to Friday night with a tayovan, with a, with the appetite. So don't rabbi he says I ate a big meal now and I'm gonna eat a big meal later on too. <laughs> <laughs> so the Noid of Yudah says, now I understand the Medrash, he says. <laughs> there is a Medrash, when Odom Arishan, he, he ate him, ate Sadas, the Medrash says, Hashem come to him, says, Odom, how did you, you didn't listen to me. You, you ate from, 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 from the, the, the eight Sadas I told you not to eat. Odom told to Hashem, I ate it and I'm going to eat more. <laughs> so he says, what the chutzpah, what, what's the pshat? Hashem telling you, you didn't listen to me, and you're telling to God, I ate and I'm going to eat more. He says, that's the pshat. Hashem told them, don't eat on Friday. And, and, and already Shabbos, you could eat it. The whole Easter of Eitz Adas was just for Friday. Come Shabbos, you're going to eat it. So Odom Arishan understood. The whole reason is I should, why I cannot eat it now? If I could eat it tonight, probably I should have an appetite. So he says, I could eat it now, and I'm still going to have an appetite for tonight too. So he says, that's the pshat. I ate and I'm going to eat more. So he says, the pshat. So according to this, even you're gonna say I'm gonna eat more, it's covered Shabbos to minimize a little bit. We're not telling you to, to come completely hungry, but you should eat a little bit Erev Shabbos, not that much. This way you come to Erev Shabbos, it's covered Shabbos, you eat the, the Suda Shabbos uh, with, a, with, a, with a good appetite. And if God forbid, it's not so, not as the Gemara says over here, there's two Mishpochas in Yerushalayim. That's what Rabbi Yochanan testified. And the both were uprooted, one of them because they did the Shabbos on Shabbos. Bishasa Drosha, and one of them because it did through the Shabbos, Erev Shabbos, and it was already compromising Kvoit Shabbos. They didn't come to Shabbos with an appetite. Okay. <laughs> yeah.